Cotting School is unique in what it offers a special needs child and it's all encompassing such as you know the, the social social life of a child the academics of a child and just the well-being of a child it's very important to have a school like cotting because it offers uh, an opportunity for st students to uh, get a, get the kind of education they need not all students can benefit from a public school experience here at cotting they make sure that kids feel quite welcome. They uh, provide a very high caliber of uh, intellectual stimulation for, for, for students. The curriculum at Cotting is special because it is really tailored to each individual child. Um, they look at the strengths of the children and the skills that the children need to obtain and they structure the curriculum around that. The thing that stands out is the student and staff ratio. Um, you know, I, I generally have between six and eight kids in a class, which makes it very manageable to get things done. If you're working with a child on handwriting, and that's a collaborative goal that's being worked on by the classroom teacher and also the occupational therapist, it's not necessarily in the best interest of the child to pull the kid and take them to a separate room to work on handwriting on an unrelated task. It's a more beneficial in the long run if the OT comes into the classroom and might take the same list of spelling words that the student's working on in the class and work on something that makes it you know, more meaningful and more connected because there's ultimately more carryover in the long run that way. We have a commitment to what we call here a service team. These teams meet weekly. They meet for two hours and it's a child-centered meeting. The service teams are organized um, in groups of multi-disciplines. So there will be a group that will have teachers and physical therapists and occupational therapists and communication therapists and medical staff, etc. And it is a time for us to really get together and talk about one topic together and let us all see it from different viewpoints. And so you get um, a lot of people working on the same problem with the same focus. And uh, not only does it help in problem solving, but it helps every staff person um, know what is expected of the student throughout the day and can help facilitate that. Uh, we're, we're talking about solving problems for kids. So uh, if you're talking about an activity like reading, you have uh, physical access uh, issues you have to address. Um, size of the print might be a concern, so you might talk to um, either OT for vision needs or we can talk to the, the vision people here at school. A student at Cotting has not only this wonderful array of services that they get in the classroom or through our therapy departments, but we have literally on site a dental clinic and a vision clinic. Cotting School is part of an educational continuum. And what I mean by that is a student may need cotting at a certain part of their lives, even if they didn't need it at another part. And we do our best to optimize their learning while they're here. A little girl who I had several years ago, who um, her, when she first came here, her parents said to me, we know our daughter is smart, you know, we, but you know, nobody seems to be able to, to teach her. And we worked really hard with this child, and you know, I'm very proud to say that within three years we had her back in public school. From the day a child comes to the school, we think of what's next for this child? Where is this child going to go after cotton? Part of that is our work with a program called Project Bridges. It's a program that we developed, and it's a program where we get our older students into the workforce. I work at Epicurean Feast in Maynard. It's a food company. Not only do I like it, I love it. We also have in-house jobs here where all of our upper school students are involved in some in-house job so that they're getting contact with other people. They're getting a sense of life and work after cottage school. Cotting's contributed to the field of special education by really being on the cutting edge of technology. It can be something as simple as a letter board or a pencil grip, and it can be very high tech, such as computer software, switch access, um, very specialized programs. January 11th, 2008. My grandfather died from cancer at age 72. He was a pioneer in the recycling industry. I was proud of him. I'm sorry that he died. Katie. 
It's too bad, Andy. I've sent teachers here to get a sense of what is their curriculum and how do they provide it? How do they individualize instruction for kids? And Cotting has provided that training opportunity for teachers too. We've also contributed in terms of uh, ra raising the expectations of students and families uh, of kids with special needs by uh, really a can-do philosophy. We have a national fellowship to train the next generation of special education teachers. We are the school that teaches others uh, about how to best meet the needs of children with severe challenges. The social experiences are, are a high priority because for special needs kids a lot of times that just doesn't fall into place for them and they treat the children as any child in a public school system would be treated. There's after school programs, there's sports, there's cheerleading, there's arts and crafts. There's no barriers to what they offer the children. Lizzie's playing soccer, she's uh, taking art classes, she's doing aerobics. And these are all the things that if she was in um, our public school system would not be available to her. Every year we have a prom and the kids get dressed up and it's in a very nice hotel and the parents aren't invited to go to the prom because it's the kids night. One of the best things I did at Cotting this year was I got to go on the ski trip. Um, we stayed at Mount Centipede for three nights and I got to go swimming and I got to hang out with my friends overnight for three nights and I got an award for best improved skier and I hope to go again next year. One of the other wonderful activities is the senior class trip and all of the seniors go. We don't deny a child access to any of our events. Our students have an incredible array of experiences just like their typically developing peers. It's a place where they can feel safe. They feel safe at Cotting and they can do anything they want to do. They can be anything they want to be here. They can feel safe, they can feel secure, and they can excel. Having a place where your child can come and be recognized for what he is and what he can accomplish in, in his perspective, it's a, an incredibly inspiring type of uh, situation for both myself and Liz, as, as well as William and the rest of the family. Well, and comforting as well, I would add. You know, it's very stressful having a child with special needs and um, knowing that a place like this exists where he can come and people understand what his needs are and can meet them is more uh, critical than anything really for us right now. The involvement of parents is really important because ultimately they're the people that have the most insight on, on their child. I mean, they're, they're really a wealth of information and it, the collaboration between parents and professional staff here is really incredible. All I have to do is pick up the phone or send an email to someone here on staff and I will get some support, I will get some help, I can always count on it this sense of, of community where you feel like you're not out there all alone fighting this battle and um, that there's other people like you and like your family that are grappling with the same issues. When you walk in, you run into teachers, you run into students and everyone has a smile on his or her face and it's a very, very happy place and it just makes you feel good when you encounter these children who have so much to offer. Cotting is a really special place and you kind of feel it as soon as you walk in the door and the longer you stay here, the, the more it draws you in and you just know that there are very few places like Cotting. Pre-Cotting, we and Krista herself, we simply went along with life, with school. We really didn't have many goals for her because of where she was. Uh, but once she started here, we just uh, uh, started seeing the many possibilities that she could have. Um, we started to, to hope about the future, about what she might be able to achieve. 